Hi, welcome back. Last week we saw how Hans Jürgen Massaqua realized he was in danger as a black boy growing up in Nazi Germany. This week we'll see how others fared under the Nuremberg Laws. Hello, good people. My name is Janice, your host here at Dignity, Human Rights and Daily Life. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. After watching this video, I invite you to check out this playlist and please consider subscribing. This story has its origins in the Scramble for Africa, which took place between 1881 and 1914, where the European powers occupied, divided, and colonized Africa. This resulted in the German Empire to include German Western Africa, Cameroon, Nigeria, Chad, Guinea, Central African Republic, Ghana, and Togo, German Southwest Africa, Namibia, German East Africa, Burundi, Kenya, Mozambique, Rwanda, and Tanzania. The colonization resulted in Afro-Germans, born to German men and African women. After World War I, French army personnel of African descent occupied Germany. This produced Afro-Germans born to men of African descent and German women. In 1919, under the Treaty of Versailles, Germany lost its African colonies to France, Belgium, Portugal, and Great Britain. Fast forward to 1935, when the National Nationalistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei enacted the Nuremberg Laws. These anti-Semitic and racial laws were promulgated in order to approve certain people for citizenship under the Third Reich. In 1906, Alvin Fischer, a medical doctor from Germany, had conducted field research in Namibia. He studied the offspring known as bastards or crossbreeds who were the children of German men and Hottentot women. He concluded his study that mixed marriages should be prohibited and offsprings therefrom ought to be sterilized. The skulls that he collected from prisoners of war, the Hottentots were not about to take colonization sitting down, served as a precursor to the experiments he would conduct on Jews in Nazi Germany. First published in 1921, Hitler read his work, Principles of Human Heredity and Race Hygiene. Between 1937 and 1938, Fischer and his colleagues analyzed 600 children in Nazi Germany, descendants from French African soldiers who had occupied the western areas of Germany after World War I. The children were subsequently subjected to sterilization. Hilliaridos Gilgis is one of the few men born to a German mother and African father prior to World War I. Born in Dusseldorf, he grew up in a working class neighborhood, joined the German Communist Youth, and became an amateur actor with the communist theater group Nordwest. In 1933, after the Nazis seized power, he attempted to go into hiding, but his visibility due to his skin color made this difficult. He was kidnapped from his apartment in the Altstadt, was brutally tortured and killed. What are your thoughts on how blacks were treated in Nazi Germany in comparison to how they were treated in the US during slavery? Let me know in the comments. Mark hashtag Team Dignity in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, be well and remember to live your life with dignity. Bye-bye.